As long as I'm president, nobody earning less than $400,000 will pay an additional penny in taxes. Nobody, not one penny. Well, one day later, he's coming after waitresses. The IRS reportedly planning a crackdown on, quote, tip reporting compliance to get its cut of every inflated dollar that service workers make. The agency is now asking business owners to count and report their employees' tips to make sure that everyone is being honest. So is harassing the middle class really the answer to our economic woes? So, uh, Spike, I see you smiling. What kind of problems do you foresee? And what dishonesty well, is afoot here? If, uh, if your voluntary compliance is met with massive enforcement and audits and garnishing of your wages and seizure of your property, if you don't comply, it's not voluntary. So let, let's let's dispense with that. I, too, remember the heady days of less than 24 hours ago when Joe Biden told us that he would not increase taxes on anyone making under $400,000. And frankly, at long last, the IRS is finally going after the real cheats here, the billionaire waiters and waitresses and 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 you know, people in the service industry. I mean, it, here's the reality of things. Taxation is a form of predation. It is theft and extortion, and predators always go after the easiest prey. And in this case, the easiest prey is those who make the least. It turns out those tens of thousands of new agents, they didn't hire them to go after the few hundred billionaires. They hired them to go after people who didn't report a $700 transaction on their Venmo, or in this case, a, a tip that they got. Um, but there is actually a way around this scheme, this particular scheme, and that's when you go out to a restaurant or a bar and you get the bill, give out the tip as a gift in cash put a big zero right next to where it says tip on the receipt and make sure that your server knows this is not a tip, this is a gift, and small gifts are not taxable. <laughs>